Hi, welcome to BetSafe preview of the weekend's games of week 15. We're going to specifically look at Manchester City just for the simple reason that they are flying at the top. And of course, BetSafe, the official betting partner of Premier League Giants Manchester City. They play West Ham at the Etihad at the weekend. 1-9, to nine, they're heavy favourites. 11-1 to one the draw, West Ham 20s. Let's go on the West Ham side first and foremost. Because it's easy just to say City will go there, turn them over, win the game. You're, you're, you're David Moyes. What did we do? Uh, well, I, I don't know. Would be the answer <laughs> to that. You know, and I look at the opposition, the, the way opposition set up against Man City. Um, obviously, I'm down there a lot and seeing them, and I just don't know what we do. You know, because teams have tried to go and sit in against them. Mm. Teams at Huddersfield last weekend really went sat in, but went after them and tried yeah. to press and hit them in the break. Teams that come out and try and attack them. Southampton on S Southampton, Wednesday? I thought, well, look, they've took a bit of stick and people saying they were boring and they parked the bus. Yeah. They, they nearly got it bang on. I was, I was impressed with how disciplined they were. They, don't get me wrong, they played 5-4-1 yeah. in their own half for the majority of the game um, and were a threat for set pieces. Um, maybe that's the way I go, but go about it. Just mm. sit in, sit in, sit in and then try and play in the set pieces because City did look a little bit vulnerable from f wide free kicks and corners. This is a question I've had in my head a couple of times. I haven't really said it to you. Does Pep know he's starting a living, Paul? Is, is the squad so big that he's like, well, 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 he could play today? I think he's quite happy not having that and having that problem. Mm. Um, you know, and when everybody's fit, it's you could have Sergio Aguero on the bit last night that's against Southampton. David Silva was sitting on the bench. Yeah. You know, Gundogan came in and, and played really well, actually. Mm. Um, Bernardo Silva was sitting on the bench. You know, at the weekend, Gabriel Jesus was on the bench. He played Sergio up front on his own. And I think he likes having that options to mix it up every now and yeah. then, especially if they're looking at, but which they are looking at Champions League, winning trophies this season and, and the demands of the Premier League. You know, the strength and depth they've got is frightening. I don't remember City winning as many games as late on. Uh, I'll say it again and I'm happy to say it now. I think he's the most... I'm not going to say improved player because he was good anyway, but maybe not as aware of his job as Raheem Sterling has been under Pep Guardiola. And it can only be the manager working and saying, look, this is what I want you to do. It is, and it's belief, um, I think, under um, Pellegrini. Um, we have we've spoke about this loads on and off camera. That, but when Raheem got the ball wide, his first touch was always backwards. Yeah. And that tells you he's not got the confidence to go and beat anybody. Yeah. Now, you give him the ball, and even last season, his first touch is forward, it's mm. out his feet, and he's looking to get a cross in, he's looking to get a shot off, he's looking to take his man on. It's the first thing in his mind, and that, and that can only be by the manager working with him, and you, him taking it on board as well. You've also mentioned, just in, in this little piece here, you've mentioned Silva, you've mentioned Gundogan, you've mentioned De Bruyne, you've mentioned, and just playing with these players in training, you think, oh, hang on a minute, this, that's what they do. Yeah. They're good. I kind of need to mimic that almost. Yeah, and I genuinely believe that he believes he belongs there now. I yeah. wasn't too sure to begin with. Yeah, you know, and he's becoming the main man. That's the last three games he scored late on and scored the winning goal late on. Seven goals in nine games is not bad. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And you know, I'll go back to um, not just Raheem, but City winning the way they have done against Huddersfield and then Southampton. Second game of the season when they went away to Bournemouth, they went one 0 down early doors. Yeah and Raheem ended up scoring the winner on the 94th, 95th yeah, minute. Yeah. Now, they are games they wouldn't have won last year. Mm. You know, um, They might have picked up a point or they might have even got beat. Yeah. But it um, just shows you the belief that's in there and the character that they've got at the minute. Well, there's probably going to be a lot of goals in the game, albeit there was only three the other night there. Right? So I've gone for a number of goals over four and a half, 75 on Betsy, but I just think that might be a good price. I think West Ham, A, have to come out, and I don't think really defensively West Ham are particularly good. There is another thing, they've now conceded 30 goals the most in the Premier League West Ham, surely David has to address that first and foremost, regardless of trying to score goals at the other end. You've got to, but the last place you want to go at the minute oh, is the Etihad. Unbelievable. You know. oh, yeah. It's going to be a tough one for them. 1-9 to nine City, 11-1 to one the draw, and if you're a happy hammer, or an average happy hammer, you can have 20s on Betsy. Listen, you'll have your own ideas at this weekend. This is Premier League Preview Week 15. That was a little extra on Man City against West Ham. Good luck to the Hammers. To be honest, I think City will take the points and keep the distance at the top of the league at eight points. We'll see you next time here on Betsy from Paul and Alan. See you later.